The board chairman of the Mineral Income and Investment Fund, Professor Douglas Boating, says Ghana's position as the largest gold producer is worthless without visible development. Professor Boating said this while speaking on industrialization and supply chain management at the University of Mines and Technology in Takwa. City News' Akwesi Ejei Nim has more in this report. The Maiden UMAT MAVE organized distinguished speaker series under the auspices of UMAT Faculty of Engineering, delivered by Professor Douglas Boateng, was on the team Supply Chain Management, Africa's Industrialization, Long Term Socioeconomic Development, and Stability. Professor Boateng said, It is unacceptable that there is not much evidence in terms of development of Ghana's rich natural resources. He blamed it on the country's lack of understanding and commitment to appropriate supply chain management and procurement, high taste for foreign goods, as well as the need to industrialize. Economic growth and economic development, please be aware, are two different things. You can have fantastic economic growth numbers, 5, 20, 30 percent, but not necessarily achieve economic development. And this is what has happened to our beloved continent. They keep on telling us that we are achieving fantastic, fantastic growth based on what? Exportation of our commodities. And then 50 years down the line, what are we going to show for? The roads in Takwa. And we have to find a way of doing uh, better than that. And that is where supply chain management comes in. The Vice Chancellor of UMAT, re-emphasizing the state of Ghana's underdevelopment, said the country can achieve accelerated development by value addition through industrialization with collaboration with higher educational institutions. If the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda is to come to pass, it will ride on the back of industrialization. And we as a university would want to push an agenda in that direction. Without question, industrialization and local value addition is the way forward for Ghana. And we at UMAT intend to build the world-class human capital that will make this possible and to support this agenda of Ghana beyond aid. The Chief Executive of MIF, Edward Nanaya Quantin, while stating MIF's intention to become the largest mineral investment fund in Africa and also ensure investment in small-scale mining, emphasized the need for sectoral collaboration and human resource development. As part of our corporate social investment, um, as part of industry engaging academia in, in, in finding solutions and adding value to the uh, to the sector. So, um, you know, UMAT, UMAT is arguably one of the best science and science universities in, on the continent, and I know that it's actually the best in Western. And a lot of things are going to go into what we is doing research and, and technical opinions, etc. And it's important that we engage with the uh, 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 human to this. So we see it as a strategic partnership. Um, in, in, uh, and it's all about value. Um, if it's all about adding value, sustainable value. I think it's a strategic partnership in line with the concept of academia and industry working together.